This week in the Missouri Senate, we review a major overhaul coming soon to concentrated animal feeding operations in our state. Senate Bill 391. Senate Bill 391 was introduced on February 14th, heard by the Missouri Senate Agriculture, Food Production, and Outdoor Resources Committee on March 5th, discussed by the full Missouri Senate on April 16th and 29th, sent to the Missouri House of Representatives on May 2nd, truly agreed to and finally passed on May 14th, and signed by the governor on May 30th. During initial Missouri Senate discussion, sponsor Senator Mike Bernskitter of Jefferson City briefly touched on a change made in the substitute version. More stringent than any provisions of the chapters 260, and then the substitute says more stringent than any provisions of this chapter or chapters. Senator Jill Shoup of Creve Coeur notes this is more than just a rural issue. You would be amazed at the number of people in my district who care very much about this issue because it affects people and the environment all throughout our state. Senator Bernsgetter mentions operating permits were eliminated a few years ago. Actually, if you build a lagoon, you still have to have a permit. But if you have a closed, all-contained system, then you don't have to have the permit. Senator Jason Holdman of Kansas City adds he believes proponents have legitimate reasons to support this legislation. The folks who are against this bill, I feel like, have logical arguments why they oppose it. And when you have these two conflicting positions, it's not easy to sort through the balance between those two. Senator Bernsgetter also says he thinks it's good to have a public comment period before building a CAFO. The public comment part, I'm fine with, and a farmer is probably going to be fine with that. If he's going to spend $10 million on a building, he wants to make sure that, you know, the neighbors are going to be okay with it. Senator Scott Siffert of Afton says the goal for his side was to keep as much oversight as possible with local governments. Prior to filing an application to acquire a construction permit as opposed to an operating permit. Well in addition to new rules on CAFOs, Senate Bill 391 will establish the Joint Committee on Agriculture. The panel will study the economic impact of Missouri's agricultural industry in the state, the agricultural industry's ongoing efforts to improve environmental stewardship while improving the economic sustainability of Missouri agriculture, and ways to create incentives to encourage members of the agricultural industry to adopt best practices. The committee will then send a report to the Missouri General Assembly before January 15th of each year. Senate Bill 391 will become law on August 28th. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.